Yeah. Evan, career high in blocks for you tonight. Just how have you felt your game grow offensively, or sorry, defensively from last year to this year? You saw it grow? Yeah. Um, just being more active. I think um, really just trying to anchor our defense, just be more uh, more effective in multiple multiple ways um, with my voice as well, too. Just knowing that I can help out multiple areas. I see the game uh, quicker, I feel like. So just being able to help out, I feel like this third year in college, you get to, the game slows down a little bit, so it helps out. Niji, it feels like the last few games you started to settle into the offense a little more, more efficient from the field, some better decisions driving in the paint. Just how have you felt your comfort level raise here over the last few games? Yeah, um, I've just been taking it day by day. Um, you know, just my coaches, trusting God, trusting my ability, know what I'm capable of. So just taking the game by game, taking um, focus on that, that for real. As you were a little bit shorthanded tonight, uh, what was the preparation like being into this game? Really, just next man up. Just um, everybody knowing that um, we might be down a few guys, but we can't let we can't let that affect our games. We still gotta come out, play hard, do what we do, um, and just like get the win at the end of the day. So I feel like everybody, when everybody has that approach of just not dwelling on it and just getting it done, it helps us for sure. Yeah, same thing. What Evan said, just staying together, really. Um, just going out there, playing for our teammates, playing for people that can't be out there, um, and just focusing on trying to get a, a win. As older guys on this team, how do you try to lead the guys through if someone's missing, you know, someone could be missing for a while, how do you try to steer the hit so that that doesn't affect things long term? Um, just not dwelling on it, just um, understand the situation, but just uh, keep moving forward. Um, I think this is a, a long season and there's so many things that happen throughout the season. Um, so just being in college a couple of years, you're always going to have adversity. So just not dwelling on uh, anything and just knowing that we got one more game at a time, one more practice at a time, and uh, not looking too bad. What do you do, Michi? Yeah, like Evan said, he, he really touched on everything. Um, just taking it one day at a time. You know, like I said before, just staying together, um, knowing that we got a lot of good players on this team. So we all trust each other and the work that we put in, the way we practice. So allowing that to carry over to the game. You guys, more than just Juni hitting shots um, for himself, how does that open up the offense for you guys when you see him hitting shots like that? I know there was one where he went to shoot and like three defenders came at him and he's able to find Micah because nobody's there. They're all chasing after him. Yeah. How does that open up stuff for you guys when he's on the floor with you? Uh, it opens up a lot because you got a lot of people worried about him chasing him off the screens. So those gaps are a little bit more open. So those driving lanes are a lot bigger. And then we can put the people on the backside of rotation too when they can help, they have to help because the guy guarding Junior is in that gap. So just having the shooting ability um, all over the floor is a, it's a really big help, especially with his range. And I don't know, your first two buckets tonight, I think we're both on, on offensive putbacks. Yeah. Jake has said before that like, efforts are non-negotiable for him. Right. So how much pride do you guys as a team take in you know, being the team that puts forth more effort, being the team that is there to get those put back, to get those offensive rebounds? We take a ton of pride in it. I think that's just one staple that uh, Coach Deaver has really um, been uh, uh, telling us since the start of the summer. It's just like we'll always come out and dominate hustle plays every single game. So just knowing that that's part of that, um, just doing what I can do on my part to, um, uh, what's it called? Show down the court. Uh, yeah, I mean, you talked about <clears throat> the improvements on defensive side, but what, uh, on offense, like, where, where do you think you've made that stride forward these last couple games? Mm -hmm. Maybe um, just my confidence. I think um, staying strong in my faith as well. I know that um, I can typically get my head about stuff and um, my faith, and then Coach Deeper just having having my back and telling me to be more aggressive. Um, and then my teammates all the time, just telling me just. Always them telling me to practice the work for ditches, uh, uh, get to my spots and everything. So uh, just them having my back, but mainly just my feet. Yeah, and then for either guys, uh, what was it like to see Colin White really rise up for those two dunks, especially the last one? It seemed like he was getting pretty hyped about that one. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. That was, that was, that was yeah, tough, it was yeah. nice. Yeah, I seen him uh, behind me, so yeah. I was just like, you know, why not? <laughs> that was man, go get it. So yeah. it was nice to see him. Yeah, it was fun to see it, especially his energy after. I love the celebrations. Yeah. Always young, and all that's so funny. But it's great to see. Speaking of your play tonight, you were kind of all the stat sheet, and you had the lob to Colin. But like, is there a play that's sticking out in your mind right now about this game? Yeah, that was probably the best one. Um, Cause it's just like an unselfish play. Like I didn't really care to score it, and being able to see him as a freshman have that moment. You know, where are you from? Is he from here? I'm from. Oh, yeah. but like just being here and seeing the crowd like cheering on, that just mean a lot to me. You know what I mean for him. So 
I was just happy for that. Obviously, Evan um, played more in the paint than we've seen to this point of the season. We don't have Aaron, we don't have Sean, mm -hmm. and we have you guys have to move some guys around. Yeah. How did that stress or change what you guys wanted to do? How did that how did that affect you guys today? Um, I think um, early pregame, Coach Joe put it a really good way. Like um, it isn't. Uh, isn't a bad thing, it's a good thing, because now they got matchup problems offensively, and maybe we can do a little more switching um, with the upward guard on the defense. So um, I think just uh, taking it and using it to our advantage is a big thing. I was able to uh, get out on the perimeter, switch a little bit more, um, but then also uh, be on the backside to help uh, for some blocks and stuff like that too. So just taking our weaknesses and use to uh, strength, I guess. Cool. There was a point in the first half, I mean, you guys hit 10 threes in a row. How hard is it to do that with nobody guarding? We had 10 threes in a row. Yeah. yeah. You for real? Yeah. Did it, did it, was there a time, you think, where you got the feeling where the rim just expanded? I mean, what's it like to watch with everyone going on? I mean, shoot, that's, I mean, I, from, my, from my point of view, I remember, like, not even to say, I remember, like, going in the offensive rebound and being like, dang, bro, like, what's the point? They all going in. So, <laughs> I mean, so it's good to see. I'm not going to be a part of it. Yeah. So, yeah. Is Sam? Sixteen, I can shoot. So every time somebody shoots, I have the confidence to go ahead. We spoke about Collins dunks, but as you guys are veterans on this team, where have you seen him grow the most since you guys first met him in South Indian practice? Um, I think mainly uh, on the defensive end. I think he plays with so much passion and aggression that like he can sometimes get out of his uh, uh, get out of those gaps and get on back doors or something like that. Some silly, but like. I think just him slowing down a little bit and getting to the right spots has become a lot better. And you see, and he's playing with, uh, he's playing a lot more calm, confident, like you saw him play in high school. So it's just great to see it translate to the court, like after some adjustment time. So I feel like that's amazing. Michi, when they're kind of running you off the three point line, uh, maybe you see their uh, close has been a little more in balance than usual. How, is there a confidence boost you have when you can show that you're driving to the rim with much more aggression? Right? Yeah, um, just playing top of basketball for a long time, you know, when the shot's not falling, you got to make that get to the rim, um, and just being able to break through contact, somebody's been studying and found lately, so, um, yeah, just, just knowing that, um, I'm just not a shooter, you know, I can get to the rim, so, yeah. You guys, this stretch right now, you got four games in ten days, you got like a game, two days off, a game, two days off, how much do you think in preparation are you prepping specifically for like Campbell coming up and Green Bay coming up or, or how much is it are you guys more focusing on your own sets what you run well since you have such a small kind of time frame between games during the stretch here I feel like we've established who we are um, defensively um, so like when the, when the teams you know about the players uh, we just focus on that team and that game we try not to look too far ahead um, we really just lock in those couple practice days on what we're doing. Um, Campbell and the last team, Evanville, they did a lot of similar things. So and it kind of helped us a little bit for the uh, for this game. But again, we just focus on game by game. And um, we just don't focus on losing, really. Texas a and kind of messes up. So we try to take it game by game and, and make every team pay for that. Yeah, a similar answer. Like, um, I feel like we, we definitely are focused at the task at hand above. But it's also on us off the court, too, watching film over their defensive stuff, too. So just um, putting in that extra time a little bit to, um, if they do something different that we haven't seen, making sure that we're getting with the coaches or getting with some uh, managers after practice and running over some sets and making sure that we're uh, ready because it is a quick turnaround for each and every one of these games. And Campbell's offense was a little bit more complicated than we've seen. So uh, I know a lot of guys put in that extra time to watch a little bit more of their clips and uh, watch our position and do a little more rest of our position that we did in this game. So I feel like just uh, taking a mature approach off the court too, uh, being able to Work this like a job almost to make sure we're putting that time. Thank you. Thank you.